Hey guys, um, this is gonna be like an intro or something, but I would like you to meet Sheepington the Sheep, or whatever the hell I'm naming this douche. <laughs> he, I don't know, I was down here doing some touch-up work, like finishing off this stairway, uh, and doing some touch-up stuff down here near the mine entrance, and I saw this little white speck out of the corner of my eye. And I come over here, and I was like, oh, maybe one of my uh, snowmen survived. And I come down here, and there's this sheep inside of my prison. How did... how... I don't understand. And then, Sheepy decided he'd go running upstairs, and I had to chase after him. Because sheeps are a block and a half tall... And my lava is a block and a half tall. And I can't have the sheep jump into lava. Because I have to breed them. And yeah, he's inside, so I don't have to fight with him. And I just have to hope he doesn't turn into cave sheep. Because we might have issues. Do I make myself perfectly clear, cave sheep? Do I? Hey, I'm talking to you. Milby? Milby, I'm talking to you. No going in the caves. Milby. Damn it. Where's pause when I need a Milby tamer? Okay. Bye. Um, sheep update. I don't know where he went. Dude! Du dude? Dude. Milby. Stop it. Stop it. Bad. Upstairs. Now. You heard me. Come on. Upstairs. Stupid caving sheep. Milby, have a talk with your peoples. They need to stop exploring the subterranean deaths of my prison. That's, 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 that's dirty. Never mind. That might not get aired. That's dirty. <laughs> uh. Hmm. I'm going to leave that too high. I like that like that. Uh, and I'm going to put some kind of a door right here. It might just be a really lame, like, iron door with pressure plates type thing. But it'll be something. You know, something generic and lame. And no, I'm not calling generic be lame before someone says that. Because, you know. Somebody will say it. Wow, I didn't realize this was that tall. Okay, I guess I won't fill this in. I will just block it off. I don't know what you're talking about, good sir. There is no room behind here. So yeah, that's... That's what the entry will look like. Um... <clears throat> That'll get blocked off. And there'll be iron doors right there. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. I like it. I like it. The only issue is on this side, the strip mine stairway is right here. So, the strip mine stairway might be inside. Well, I can actually just wall this side off and live. Alural tries to build. What all can she fail at today? <laughs> um, glowstone one two three. Glowstone one two three. Oops. I'm not even doing anything, and I'm failing at it. Like a good neighbor, Alural sucks. Give me my torch. Thank you. You can go away. Hmm. Oh, you really can't. Oh, can you? Yeah, you can kind of tell. Hold on. Come here. Jerk.
Oh, I'm very happy to say that the Ultra Hardcore stuff is actually getting really good views, opinions, views, I don't know, something. It's getting good. Why am I still recording? Anybody know? Oh, that looks good. I like that. I like that. I like that. Okay. Ooh, iron. Well, yes, I will happily take this iron. And fill it all back in with stone brick. In before rage. <laughs> Why are these two killing themselves? I don't even want to know. They're dorks. Um, for those that don't know, the Gardnerd and the Jordan Brooks make up the Ents cast. Uh, they're really cool people, actually. And by people, I mean young men, because they're like... 16 or something? I don't know. They're young. Uh, what is that? Just one away? Yeah, just one away. Crap. Here. They're babies. I can call them young men if I want to. Um, I don't actually know what their YouTube links are offhand. Whenever I air this, if I remember, I will put links to them in the description. Maybe, if I remember. And click, click, click. Oh my god, my cat is now attacking my blinds. Tst, tst, tst. Hold on. Oh my god, she's such a butthead. Ooh, what I could do is I could put upside down. Oh. Er, sorry. Taco Bell. 23 ounce monster. Yeah, I got two hours of sleep. I have work in six hours. Yay. And I'm staying up until then. Joy. Oh, lag. It's like talking about the monster induces the lag. No, what it is is the skelly spawner here. I may have to terminate it, which would suck because it's a major part of the prison. What I think I need to do is I think I need to start not being over here. Oh, it's atomic. Atomic's like never on anymore. <laughs> Awake question mark. Ugh, lame. And they're offline. Hoop in the air. Okay. This is what I've been working on. A light sensor. Um, I'm going to do a light sensor power plant. I decided to place it here and move it that way. Um, and pump the power that way because that way is towards Thungan's old base, um, which is where the Emerald District will be. The only real issue I'm seeing is that whenever I'm not in this chunk, or I don't have this chunk specifically loaded, um, then it freaks out, it either doesn't reset, it doesn't load, it doesn't kill the block, whatever, um, and power stops. So what I may have to do is I may have to put, like, this one may have to be the power for this side of town, and then what I may have to do 
Where the hell did you spawn at, jerk? Uh, and what I may have to do is... It's dark right here. Torch. Is, as I get closer to that end, build another power station down there. Um, but put it, like, this is going to be big and bulky and above ground, um, but the other one I want to put in would be underground, um, like, the one I put in on that end would be underground and hidden, um, just, well, as hidden as you can get when you have, you know, a surface block of water, like this, cha -cha. and... It wouldn't be as obvious, you know? Uh, it is Ethos version 2 light sensor. Um, what I've done is I've actually set it so that way the power when it comes out will go through a repeater into the redstone wire. Uh, and then at each section point, so like here, I want to say. I want to say it's right here, right here. I would put the next... Oh my god, cat, stop biting my knee. I would put the next repeater for this chunk, um, so that way if I decide to put another light sensor here, like, I'm gonna put a light sensor here, so I guess I should explain it on this one so it makes sense. Torch. Um, so the light sensor will go here, and it'll feed the power off to here, and then it'll punch it this way. Well, so instead of when this one's on, it back looping the power into here, um, I've got all the power coming down and out through a repeater. So that way the power only goes this way, um, just so that way it doesn't do something funny in back loop. I thought I heard something. Ugh, I hate being over here. Um, but it soon, and who knows, this might be aired after I actually do it. Soon I will be glowstoning because... I have 23 pieces of glowstone left. And y'all know me, that's not allowed. Ooh, creeper. Ugh. Creepers have been stingy lately. I don't know why. What's going on? Hmm. Silly odd mast. Sorry, UHC discussion from last season. Um, who knows? UHC might actually be over by the time I air this. <laughs> um, because I want to say it's next. Next Wednesday is the last episode of UHC, which is crazy. Um, but as you can tell, I plan to do some uh, glowstoning soon. That was actually the main reason I was down in the pit, was I was going to go get more obsidian, because I ran out of obsidian. I mean, like, look at that, five obsidian, so I need to get obsidian and eyes of ender. Hi, jerk. Die now. Thank you. Um, and I'll probably do that really quick before I go out for glowstone. Actually, I think I'm going to do that now. Um, so I will talk to y'all later. And yes, I know I could use one of the four ender chests I have around here. But those are purely for decoration and for house convenience. Like, I don't want to ever remove them. They have a purpose. Their purpose is to look really good, right there. <laughs> Alright, anyways, guys. Um, super short episode. Oh, and I have to finish this entryway room. 
and get a Mondo, Mongo, whatever, in here. And then figure out a way to wire up this doorway. It'll probably go right here. Probably. And then I'll put like a button that you can reach. Like, I don't know how I'd do that. How would I do that? Because if that's going to be, like, if the door is going to be at this block, but I have to pretend that the Mongo can reach it, I don't know, that might be a interesting bits of redstone with a Laurel again. And for those who are curious, the um, light sensor build, that one little thing, took me 45 minutes, I want to say. Lots of watching the same, like, three videos over and over and over again. And yanking at my hair. Um, but what we can do is, as the sun rises, we can watch it. And y'all can see the delay that is currently in mine. And maybe give me some ideas. I think I'll upload this as a really short episode. Mm. Come on. Come on. Alright, power's still on. I can still see that redstone right there, kind of. Um, so when the power goes off, the piston there will retract, causing the grass to grow. Um, I've purposely not put any torches too close to it just to prevent the grass from grow growing at any other time. Giant can of monster. Mm. So see, there it goes. It switched over. Ta-da! It worked. It's about, what, a minute into the day, though? So I want to set up probably maybe a set of four right there. So that way there's more of them to check, and because they won't backfeed into each other, they won't screw with the power, hopefully, maybe, I think. Is that how it works? I don't know. We'll find out. Alright. Later, guys. Um, I need to put supports in for that. Uh, and what I'm contemplating doing is I'm contemplating wrapping this in half slabs and putting mongos on it all the way to the roof. We'll figure it out next time, though. I need to support it somehow. And it extends over, like, every single wall. So we'll figure it out. Bye, guys.